Today we will show you how to replace the free hub on your Neo bike. For this process, you will need a pipe wrench or size 30 wrench, an A3 40 to 100 millimeter snap ring tool, size 4 and 5 Allen keys, a torque wrench, a T20 Torx wrench, the tension release tool, and bracket cap toolkit. You will also need a greased free hub. First, we will need to remove the belt cover from your Neo bike. Remove the top two bolts using the 4mm Allen key. Next, use the Torx wrench to remove the bottom two screws from the cover. Remove the cover. You may also need to remove the spacers that hold the top two bolts. Next, remove the belt. You will need to use the belt tension release tool. Place the tool in the hole next to the belt pulley on the bike. Rotate the tool towards the crank arm using a pipe wrench. This is about a quarter turn. Slowly work the belt off your Neo bike trainer. Now it's time to remove the left crank arm. Remove the pinch bolt from the crank arm using the 5mm Allen key. Then remove the plastic cap using your bracket cap removal tool. Loosen it with the 5mm Allen key. Now remove the crank from the bike by pushing the left side and pulling the crank from the bike. Use the size A3 snap ring tool to remove the snap ring. Now remove the metal plate. You can now remove the free hub from the bike. Do not forget to remove the metal sleeve from the axle. Install the new free hub with the installed sleeve onto the axle of the Neo bike. Next, reinstall the metal plate. Use your snap ring tool to reinstall the snap ring. Ensure you push the plate and snap ring all the way back. Make sure the ring is still inside the right side crank and then reinstall it. Ensure the right side crank arm is pointing down. Replace the left crank arm onto the bottom bracket axle. Now you can replace the plastic cap with the bracket cap tool. Place the cap. Then place the bracket cap tool over the cap. Use the 5mm Allen key to tighten the plastic cap to 1.2 Newton meters. Next, replace the pinch bolt with the 5mm Allen key. Carefully thread the belt, ensuring it does not overhang on any part of the track. Restore tension by turning the belt tension tool clockwise using the pipe wrench. Remove the belt tension tool. You are now ready to reinstall the belt cover. You will have to remove the rear spacer to ensure accurate placement of the rear screw. Ensure the tabs line up with the holes in the frame and replace the belt cover. Then place the back spacer. Reinsert the back bolt and torque to 14 Newton meters. Then insert the front spacer. Reinsert the front bolt and torque to 14 Newton meters. Finally, reinstall the bottom two screws using the Torx 20 wrench.
And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.